Hello, everybody, and welcome to day 10 of my 21 days to boost your German vocabulary. Now, I've talked in the past of various methods about boosting your German vocabulary, and one of the things that one can do is implementing all of these things to, <laughs> to improve your German vocabulary. So the things on there are, so if you're listening to German, you can improve it. You write it, you use your vocabulary for writing and expand it. Um, reading helps your vocabulary. Grammar exercise help your vocabulary because you've got new words in there. But what I wanted to talk to you about today is speaking. So speaking German, how can speaking German expand your vocabulary? Now, very often that part of learning German is forgotten. And you think because you've got nobody to talk to or you're not in Germany or you don't know anybody who speaks German that you can't practice speaking. Well, very wrong there because you can practice speaking every day as well on your own. I know that sounds a little bit funny, but obviously there are different ways what you can do. Yes, speaking with others, or in a group is of course amazing, it's really great, but you have to start somewhere because a lot of people say, oh, my speaking isn't good enough, I don't really want to join a group, or um, I need a little bit more practice, I'm not quite sure if I fit into the group, for example. But you've got to start, you've got to get on with it, you have to do something. Now today, I wanted to talk to you about a couple of different points that you can do at home today to improve your speaking, to start speaking. It may sound a bit funny at times, but it really, really does work. Now, first of all, like I said, there are different ways of, you know, your reading, your writing, your listening. So, and the same for the speaking. Let's start really, really simple. And this is something that you can do even if you've just started learning German, you can do this as well. So this is for anybody starting or advanced. So the first thing to do is talking about yourself. Talking about yourself is really something you would do when you're meeting a person anyway. So it is a great thing to actually practice. So write yourself down a few questions. You know, you can write the questions down in, in English or German or whichever language you speak and German. Questions like, where are you from? Where do you live? A couple of things, you know, about your family, about your work. How long have you worked and where do you work? What do you do for work uh, or in your work? You can talk about your hobbies. You can talk about your um, where you like to go on holiday. Now, these are different topics, just some things about yourself. And with these sentences, you can have them talk about them very simply in the present tense and write a few words down. So write down your answers. What would be your answers? You can say, for example, I would say, ich heiße Claudia Dixon. Ich wohne in London. Ich komme aus Deutschland. Um, meine Hobbys sind Wesen, meine Hühner, da, 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 and so on and so on. You can, you can continue, you can say different things, but prepare it. And then once you've prepared it, talk about it. Talk about it loud. Obviously, you've got to be speaking loudly. You can't just read it in your head. Reading it in your head does not work. So talk about yourself loud. And an extra factor is actually um, when you practice it a bit, talk about it in front of a mirror or talk about it if you have a computer, if you record, even if you're not really recording, but, but you see yourself, talk about it because even though it's yourself, there's still another person there. It seems to be as if there's another person there. It actually, it's really effective. So that's your number one. Your first topic really is to talk about yourself. And that is something that you can practice again and again and again, because eventually if you join a group or if you're talking to somebody, that's what you're going to be talking about usually first of all. The second things, for example, is um, 
to talk about, which I, it's one of my favorite questions in my lessons, all of my students uh, know that, is what did you do last weekend? So this is a next step up. For example, this is for example the step up where what did you do last weekend? You can add the next tense to it. You can add the present perfect tense. So was hast du gemacht? So ich bin gefahren, habe gemacht, habe gehört, that sort of thing. So talk about your weekend. What did you do on the weekend? Now again, write down a few things. Write down some things. You, you can talk about um, what time you got up, what you had, did you have for breakfast? What did you do then? You can, there are so many things you can bring into that conversation with yourself. Um, there are time expressions. There are, like I said, the tens. There are lots of different activities you can join in and add together the Saturday and the Sunday. What did you do on the weekend? That actually starts to expand your vocabulary. And every time you could add something else to it. So at the beginning, you may just have a couple of sentences, but then you can work up, expand more and more. But look it up, look up a couple of new words and so that you can talk about your weekend and what you have done. Um, the third thing to do is to pick a topic. So this is really something where you say, OK, let's say um, one of my favorite topics is, I have to say as well, the environment, for example. I want to talk to you about the environment. Now, say, you need to think about how you feel about the environment. Perhaps you can write two or three questions down that you want to talk about and then look up a few of the words. Again, that expanding, it's expanding your vocabulary around the environment and how to express yourself. Environment, I'm sure you would be thinking about your opinion as well, what your opinion is. So look up a couple of um, phrases that express your opinion. Only a couple that you don't need to have 20 because really you, you just need a couple. And later on, if you use these couple a lot, perhaps you want to add another one to it, but don't have too many things at the beginning. But it is a really great way of getting to speak when talking about a topic. And that is really speaking is really when you emotionally get involved with your vocabulary, with the language. And that is really when your language sticks more. So, so if you're talking in front of the mirror, first of all, you may be laughing, you know, because it is quite odd, you know. And, um, but you're remembering words, but you may have to have a quick look on your sheet thinking, oh, that's what it was. And then you continue to say, hello, you know, my name is Claudia. You're talking to yourself. I mean, yes, it may sound it may look weird when others watch, but it is a really, really great way of expanding your vocabulary while talking when you're speaking. So do those three things. I would love to know um, how you got on with them. So first of all, talk about yourself. Do it in front of the mirror, but talk about yourself. You don't have to do it in front of the mirror, but do that. So talk about yourself. The second one is if you already have, if you already know the past tense, go for it and talk about what did I do on the weekend. So on the weekend, I got up at da da da, and then I did, and then I had for breakfast. Talk about it. And the third one is pick a topic. Pick a topic and look for some words around that topic and your opinion and talk about that topic. But it's sometimes easier if you write yourself a couple of questions down and then look if you can answer those questions. And that is a great way of expanding your vocabulary when speaking. The key of it all is speak and speak aloud. Don't sort of talk in your head. That's just not working at all. All everything sounds perfect when you just think it in your head. So talk about it loud. And also it's really great to get used to your own voice speaking. It really is very good. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. And I would love to know how you got on and what you did. And why don't you start today with speaking about yourself, your last weekend and a topic you picked. I wish you a great day still. And I will see you on day number 11. See you then. Tschüss.